Energy and Petroleum Cabinet Secretary Davis Chirchir says geothermal power generation will be a game changer in supplementing hydroelectricity in the long run to lower the cost of power. Speaking during an inspection tour of the Sosian Energy Power Generation Plant in Menengai, Bahati, Nakuru County, OCS Chirchir says Kenya has only delivered 11% of power to the national grid through hydro generation, which is well below the required 30%. Chirchir says with geothermal power generation, Kenya will be on the right track in supporting hydroelectricity, which has been poor over the last five years due to erratic weather patterns. The Sosian Energy Power Generation Plant is expected to start producing 22 megawatts of power by the end of June. These are the things I mentioned that I've been looking at and working on seriously. Um, you know, the hydrology has been fairly poor in the last five years. And whereas we're supposed to have been delivering 30% 30, 30 uh, power at 4 cents US, which is the um, hydro, hydro generation, we've been, up to now, we've been delivering up to 11% because of the very poor hydrology. And uh, that means we've been supplementing the grid to provide power uh, for power security for our economy using the diesel generation. And that is what has been hurting. Expect to be in operation uh, in terms of early power by end of April, early May. In terms of full power, we we're expecting by end of June to be fully commissioned. In the first phase, we're expecting uh, around 22 megawatts because our unit one and two are both ready. Now, a family in Mwingi is mourning the death of two brothers.